Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to Module 4. Um, you know, I wanted to add this kind of supplemental little um, video here for Module 4 just to describe some things and see where we're at and where we're going. Okay, so there's a few students who, um, now we've, we've been talking about this, guys, and we've talked about the, 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 the intent, the objective of this class is to brand yourself, uh, personal branding as a graphic designer, as you are graduating as graphic designers. Now, there have been some students who are very adamant about branding themselves However, not branding themselves as the graphic designer, but rather branding themselves as um, uh, multimedia designer, so to speak. Okay, that's still personal branding. So for those of you who are, are still stuck on trying to brand a entity or some sort of a hobby or a side company, it, that's not personal branding. Okay, it's, it's, you have got to use your name to brand yourself, guys. That's personal branding. Um, again, I'll just reiterate one more time before we really start getting into the, uh, the um, leave behind the letterhead and the business card is that you, you should really should brand yourselves as using your personal names, um, using your proper names. Um, because of a couple of reasons, you know, this you, you are, are going to eventually develop your graphic design portfolio. So it would be good for you to start developing a logo and start thinking towards that um, line that direction right now. Okay, so that's why this past um, discussion board, a couple of students, I really got in there. And I said, hey, listen, you got to think about this because you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, so just so you guys know, I'm going to leave that alone now. So whatever direction you guys choose right now, I feel like I've done enough in, in terms of um, trying to convince you in the direction to go uh, of going towards following the objectives of the course. Okay, so where does that leave us? During module three, we looked at designers' brand, uh, professional branding suite, which includes your letterhead, your resume, and of course, you, you, you designed your logo and, your business, and you're working on your business card, right? So how does this work, okay? This is called stationary, guys, S-T-A-T-I-O-N-E-R-Y, and that specifically refers to uh, a business stationary, meaning a minimum business stationary set would be a, a business card, a letterhead, and a, um, an envelope. All right, so a, a, a minimum branding package package for a client that you might have in your in your practice is is going to be that a logo. Then you you, you use the logo to design a business card, a letterhead, and, and a mailing envelope. That's a number ten envelope, guys. Make sure it's a number ten envelope. All right, so um, how does this work in terms of branding ourselves? So okay, you, you design your logo, then you create your business card. Based on the design of your business card, you take those, some similarities there and you create, harmoniously create the letterhead and a leave behind piece. So the leave behind piece, there's plenty to study um, in, in the, the course materials about leave behind piece, okay? But business card, letterhead, um, envelope, logo. Let's talk about that quickly. So you have your logo that you designed. Now you're gonna design a business card. I would definitely get online folks and just start looking around, refresh your memory, Okay, just do a quick Google search, how to design business cards. And take a look at some examples and just try to find something really clean, contemporary, modern, and uh, professional. Okay, and then you're, you're gonna show your logo. Remember, your logo is the ground floor of your branding. So the logo has to be somewhat prominent. All right, then at that point, you'll design your letterhead consistently with your business card. The letterhead itself will house your resume, okay? so. The, the letterhead is something that you would, you would design based on a business card, visual similarities, but then you're going to place your resume on your letterhead. To solidify branding, you're going to, you're going to use that letterhead to create all of your um, written correspondence while you're applying for a specific job. For example, um, your cover letter should be printed on your letterhead. Your resume should be printed on your letterhead. Your thank you letter should be printed on your letterhead. Okay, those are really important. And why do we do that? Because each time that potential employer sees your logo, it's reinforcing the brand. Okay, hope that makes sense. That's really important, okay, to understand that process. Okay, the, the letterhead, the logo, the letterhead where all your, your printed material goes, and then your number 10 envelope, and, and in many cases, a, a mailing label. But for this particular case, it's a business card, letterhead, and a number 10 envelope. Um, okay, so um, this week you're going to be creating your business card and your letterhead. So be sure to review this, this tutorial in case you need it. It's really kind of, um, 
it's it's kind of dry so it it's well you'll see but but there's some fantastic information in it it, it just it moves kind of kind of at a dry pace so so it's about six minutes so plan accordingly um here's your weekly plan and then your uh this is a milestone week we've got milestone two business card and letterhead so keep that in mind here's the rubric for it attached right here we also have a short paper this week for your leave behind here's the rubric for that as well okay so there's a little bit to do this week guys so we're kind of going to step back from design uh specifically from the logo um, and I don't mean to stop working on it. If you want to still work on adjustments to your logo, have at it. I'll be glad to comment. You know me by now. I'm pretty pretty good about getting right back to you guys with uh, critique and and, uh, and comments. So um, so a, a business card letterhead this week, guys. Please don't forget to read the course materials and try to do some outside research. I will comment and I'll try to do the same kind of setup that we did um, this week where, let me take a, well, I shouldn't do that. I don't want to do that, but I was going to take a quick look and see how I will have your comments back to you. Like last week, remember we had, um, you, you turned your stuff in and then I commented in grading. You turned your logos and I commented in grading so that you could use those comments moving to your work to submission for critique board. So you already had my comment on the critique when you moved to put your work on the critique board. Then I commented again based on your adjustments. Okay, we'll try to follow that same formula. I'll try as hard as I can. It, it, it's, it, it's difficult because people submit at different times. So um, try to submit early for, for the best outcome there. All right. Uh, fantastic. Everyone's doing really great. I'm so pleased with this class. Our discussion boards are just fantastic. Love the response. Love the activity. One thing I would ask is that you guys ask more questions of each other in the discussion board. I think that's a really great way to, to maintain this level of engagement in the discussion board. We're all making really very relevant comments based on research and you're sharing your research, backing up your comments. Ask for validation. Ask questions. Let's Let's try to start moving the discussion board to the next level by doing so. All right, great job, guys. I'm, um, that's all I have. So welcome to week four, and I will see you guys in discussion board. As, as usual, of course, any questions, comments, concerns, or other, please feel free to let me know as soon as possible. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'll see you in discussion board.